Election Day doesn't have to be delayed for this president and his allies to find plenty of ways to undermine the election. 95 days to go. What should we be doing? Joining us now, Mark Elias. He's an election lawyer for the Democratic Party and the founder of Democracy Docket, an organization dedicated to providing advocacy and information about voting rights, redistricting, and democracy. Mr. Elias, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it tonight. You, uh, you had a blog post on March 31st, four months ago, in which you said, there is one question that I get asked more than any other. Is there any way at all that Trump can legally cancel or postpone the November general election? The answer is clearly no. There are going to be some people who are critical that you and I are even discussing this right now because the answer is clearly no. And yet the president gives us cause to discuss it. Really, the bigger issue is that the president continues on a daily basis to give us cause to wonder uh, or give some people cause to wonder about the, the legitimacy of this election because he thinks that might be the only way he holds on to power. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. I wrote that in uh, uh, three months ago. Feels like three years ago. I wrote that three months ago because I was getting, at that point, calls and texts almost every day from people who were concerned that Donald Trump was going to try to move the election or, or otherwise refuse to leave office. And so I felt like it was a, a obligation to put out the actual facts, which is that only Congress uh, can set Election Day. They've done so by federal statute, and only Congress can change Election Day. And they would have to do that by federal statute, which means you would need both Speaker Pelosi and uh, Mitch McConnell to agree uh, on a new election day. So that's not going to happen. Election day is going to be November 3rd, and that is the good news. The bad news, potentially, is that election day will be November 3rd. And the question is whether or not we will be prepared as a country um, between now and then to deal with all of the challenges that the president is spewing out in the public and that the Republican Party is every day in court uh, uh, trying to convince judges to make voting harder. Because his only chance, I think you put it very well, his only chance of winning election is to try to prevent people from voting. And that is his central strategy. It's 95 days away. We should be stress testing the system uh, that we know is going to be in place because we are likely not to be rid of this virus in 95 days. The president made another comment today about how we need elections on uh, election night, not weeks or months away. Um, I, I don't think anybody thinks it's going to take months. But the, the truth of absentee ballots and mail in ballots is that sometimes uh, unless you design the system a certain way, we may not have the results on election night. Yeah, but here's the thing, Ali, that's not new. We've had absentee voting in this country for a long time, and we regularly don't have all the ballots counted on election night. You know, the, the, it, is, it is usual that when you get to the end of election night, there are still ballots that have come in in the mail in the last uh, day, or in some states where they allow ballots to be postmarked by election day, they come in after election night. So this isn't new. What's different this time is two things. Number one, we're going to see more people voting by mail than ever before. And that is, as you said, going to put more stress on the system. And we should be using this time to bolster the Postal Service and to bolster other uh, mechanisms to make sure that those ballots get delivered on time and counted. Uh, and then the other big thing is that you have a president who, rather than reassuring the American public in American democracy, is trashing American democracy. Every day he's trashing American democracy by saying that we can't do it and that we shouldn't do it. And that's what's really making this election different. The, the president uh, makes a distinction between absentee balloting and uh, mail-in balloting. What's the distinction and is it important? There is no distinction. They are, they are synonym. In fact, uh, his, his own legal team at the same time that he's saying that his own legal team filed a brief or filed a lawsuit in Pennsylvania in which they said that the term mail-in and absentee ballot are used, quote, interchangeably. Um, some states tend to refer to use the term mail-in. Some states tend to use the term absentee. Sometimes within a state, they, the statutes will refer to both. But they are both the same. They are both processes by which people who don't want to show up to the polls in person can receive in the mail a ballot in, in advance that they fill out and they cast and they either mail back or they deliver um, uh, through some other mechanism uh, to election officials. But there is no difference.